Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs here. Today we're going to be looking at this beast of a power supply. It is the Xilance 1250 watt Performance X series power supply. We're going to actually see what it actually comes with and if it is any good. First, here's a quick video from our sponsors. Okay, so today we're looking at this Xilance Performance X Series XP1250MR9 power supply. It's a 1250 watt power supply, so it's a bit of a beast. Um, if you don't know the brand Xilance, it's basically the sister company of Be Quiet, and Be Quiet is renowned for its basically quality control over power supplies. So let's have a look at the box first of all. It's got some Artwork on the front of the power supply. Personally, I'd prefer a proper picture of it rather than the artwork style. Tells you pretty much straight away you can see what wattage it is. It's an 80 plus gold. Uh, it says 91 eco uh, power supply. So you've got all that there. You've got a few other bits on the front. It's ready for graphics cards and so forth, which uh, hopefully it would be. Um, on the sides, it's just got the model number. On the back, it shows you a proper picture of the power supply there, as well as all the connections. Apparently, according to this, there is a 120-24 pin motherboard connector, two 8-pin motherboard uh, connectors. It's got four Molex connections, but for some reason on the back of this they call them hard drive connections, but uh, uh, I think that's a little bit dated nowadays. So Molex connections, uh, eight serial ATA connections, and eight 6 plus 2 PCI Express connections. Um, the PCI Express connections come on four separate uh, cables, so that's two on each cable to equals eight. So let's open it up, have a quick look on the inside. We've got the manual there. So pretty basics, uh, warnings and safety instructions, so rather than a manual. Um, you've also got uh, register your power supply within 60 days after purchase for 12 month additional warranty. Okay, so that gives you an extra 12 months warranty on top. Uh, and there is a please note this product has been optimized for Lowe's noise, according to the fan, only starts above 40% of the nominal power. So that basically means that the fan isn't going to be running often on there. So it's only going to really be running when you uh, get to close to near enough uh, 500 watts of power. So that means it's. Uh, it's going to seem like to some people that it could be potentially dead when it, it does, it's not, it just doesn't need to kick in until uh, uh, it gets a little bit warm which is usually around about 40% of its power draw. Um, so otherwise, got a bit of foam in there, don't really need that. Let's have a look in here. Right, you've got your UK power cable, obviously different power cable for different countries hopefully. There's, well, plenty of cables in here. So. Um, if you're in a prison and you want to escape, order one of these, you could tie all the cables together and make one hell of a long cable to get out of the third story window of your prison. One of the nice things with the cables is they are fully braided, um, so that basically means the braiding goes all the way to the end and even if there is a bit of some of the cabling shown, the cabling is all black. So unlike some of the power supplies we have seen where they're fully braided and then they have multicolored different connections on there, um, that is not the case. Uh, these cables are totally black. Um, the only exception to that is the PCI Express connections, um, they've gone for a red connector what plugs into each end, so one what plugs into the actual power supply and the end what plugs into your graphics card. Not exactly sure why they've done that, um, I would have thought they would have stuck all black, but uh, who knows, maybe someone who likes black and red, hey, be fine, but I would have personally prefer to see all black and then it would have all matched and so forth. I know it's their colour scheme but uh, still. Also in the box we've got four screws, nice to see they are black uh, to match the power supply. So let's have a look at the power supply itself, it's quite heavy, 
Um, so that's always a good thing, especially on a such a high wattage power supply. There we go. Right, okay, so you've got your nice uh, red fan there. Uh, you've got your logo, which uh, isn't a sticker. It seems to be uh, actually built into the actual uh, frame there. So that's good. Uh, on that side, you've not got anything. You can see all the connections on there where you can use, obviously, in your modular. Obviously, you don't need to use them all. It just depends on uh, what you're going to be using it for. Um, on this side, obviously, you've got your sticker, what tells you all about the actual uh, um, the actual power supplies and what wattage and everything else and model numbers and so forth. And then on the back, uh, you've got your rocker switch as well as where you plug it in. Um, on the bottom, again, absolutely nothing. Uh, so that looks uh, pretty nice. Uh, one thing which I find strange, because I have seen on other Xylence power supplies, they normally have imprinted here the word Xylence, so the actual manufacturer's name, or at least something there. So when it is inside the case, and if you have a window and it hasn't got a shroud over the power supply, that you can actually see the manufacturer's make or model. Um, unfortunately on this, it, it won't happen. Um, if you've got a case, where the power supply sits that way up inside the case, you will see the sticker. But on most cases, these side uh, these days, if it's on the bottom, it's usually facing down for extraction. Um, so you aren't going to see anything other than probably this little sticker here, which is the warranty um, void if you're open. Uh, but otherwise, very nice, very heavy, chunky. Uh, seems ve very well made. With all the tests we did, we got acceptable variations of power and it worked as it should. All tests were done with a Thermal Tate Dr. Power 2 PSU tester. We also powered on our test PC with this for a two hour stress test and it draws 845 watts of power and it had no issue keeping up. When we used the power supply in a low wattage system or on our testing tools, the fan did not run um, as it was using under the 40 watts of the power draw um, and the fan will only turn on our, over the 40% um, of the power draw. Uh, the PSU stayed nice and cool. Uh, once the PSU was in our testing rig with a 6 RX 570s, the fan kicked in and kept it cool with no issues. Here's some quick numbers for you. Um, let's suppose you have a 1250 watt power supply like this one here uh, and it's only working at roughly half of its usage. So uh, let's just say 750 watts uh, at full uh, load. Uh, and it's on eight hours a day, um, running at the full 750 watts of load per day. Um, and that puts your power supply at just over the 50% load. So it's working at around peak efficiency. A normal power supply, what wasn't rated, would actually draw 937 watts of power. A bronze would do 912, a silver would be 882 watts of power, and a gold like this would be 833 watts of power. So it draws a lot less power from the mains. That means uh, in over an hour you save 104 watts of power with the gold power supply like this. If your power was around about 15 pence per kilowatt, um, over the course of the year you would actually save around 48 pounds in power usage compared to a non-rated power supply. So in theory over three years, which is what the warranty lasts for, you would save nearly 150 pounds, which is roughly the cost of the actual power supply. Obviously if you use more power than 750 watts and it's on for more than 8 hours a day like in our testing uh, you would actually save a lot more money and could potentially if it was on 24 hours a day in a mining rig or some large server you could potentially get your money back within a year. So overall the Xylence 1250 watt power supplies is well built power supply for anyone who needs lots of connections like data miners, hardcore gamers with multiple GPUs or high-end uh, workhorse machines for photo video editing. The main drawback is when you have it fitted in the bottom of the case with a side window, uh, it just looks like a black box. Where cheaper models we have tested in the past actually do have the Xylence logo moulded into the actual casing which gives it a little bit more of style. 
But saying that, the power supply did everything we asked it to do, um, and more. It can save you money over a year, uh, or over two, three years, depending on how much usage you actually give it. Um, some of the pros were the braided cables, um, no exposed multicolored wires like there are on some power supplies, uh, worked as it should, uh, power levels were on par, uh, cable length is adequate for most builds. Negatives, as we've said before, there's no branding on the side, so if you're looking for the window, you can't see anything. The PCI Express connector is red for some reason and not black. Uh, the box art on the front uh, would rather see a picture um, rather than the actual uh, artwork they put on there. Overall, this is a very good power supply and we've awarded it the must-have award. If you would like more information about this product, you can find more information on our website at www.techfortex.co.uk. Thanks again for watching, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. See you next time.